Mm, well, hello there. Um, I feel like that's every intro I have is just hello there. Maybe I should come with come up with something a little bit more original. Um, regardless, hello, welcome. Today I'm gonna be doing one of those silly streams again uh, because why not? Um, Hello there, YouTube. Exactly. Maybe I should say that. Today I'm gonna be doing one of those silly streams again, where I just do random shit. Uh, today I'm gonna start with City Skylines, because it is a game that I'm incredibly addicted to. Not even funny. And uh, we already started the city some days ago on stream, but I really do not like this music. I'm gonna skip this. However, um, yeah, we didn't get that far. I built it out this a little bit more. I obviously still had to add houses to these individual parts here. Uh, but we already kind of started. And I made some adjustments to the city. I already added a... Uh, oh, you missed the stream? Well, it didn't really miss much. <laughs> I was just mostly like... I mostly just named everything and built some basic stuff. So... Uh, to give you a general idea of my, what my city would look like or what I'm aiming for in my city is that I'm gonna have a lot of individual parts here that are based on real locations in the Netherlands somewhat it doesn't have to be a one-to-one -one, right but for example this is roughly taken from the Amsterdam canals even though like obviously it doesn't look much like it besides just the shape um and then you have individual parts here. Uh, when do I stream? Uh, when did I stream? Ah, that was like uh, a week or so ago. It might have been on Twitch, um, which I stopped doing streams there. So that, that's probably why you missed that. Uh, but the gist of that stream was just that I named this part and then just explained a little bit about the historical background of this so um all the names of like all the the center squares in the netherlands for the most part are just called like city centers uh, there's a couple of variations of them but they're just called city centers and this part here is supposed to be the city center um then you have a district here that i already named which is the jewish uh quarter i guess would be what you call it which is a real district in, the, uh, in Amsterdam um, where a lot of Jews came uh, in the 16th century, I believe, and uh, settled. Oh, well, this is kind of a mess, uh, but kind of settled just in the Netherlands. And um, because at the time, Netherlands offered a little bit more religious freedom than other countries. Obviously, it wasn't perfect, but, you know, uh, with the... Treaty of, uh, or the Union of Utrecht, something like that. In the 1600s, uh, Nether the Netherlands ended up being the first country that allowed for um, some religious freedoms encoded by law, which is an interesting fact, I guess. But uh, a lot of Jews came from Spain and uh, Portugal to Amsterdam. And so I, I kind of just named this area after it and added a couple of buildings. For example, the uh, one synagogue here, and then you also have the Portuguese synagogue that is still standing nowadays, which is right here, which is this area here dedicated just for that. Um, so that's essentially it. Um, ever since the last stream, I built it out a little bit more. Um, I now have a train depot here. Um, I built this in my own private time, so I just thought it was going to be a boring thing to build on stream. <laughs> I went ahead and built it myself, but um, this train depot right here, it's the train depot in Utrecht. Um, Ut Utrecht? How do you say it? Ut Utrecht. Okay. Well, it's the, it's the train depot in my city, uh, put it that way. Um, and so I, I built a little like tram, tram yard right here where like trams go to repair or when they're not being used. And uh, this is a little office, and then you have a little space here. And then I'll probably just leave this empty or add anything, but whatever. Looks dope so far. Thank you. I appreciate that. 
<laughs> I like when I get compliments on my silly cities. Uh, but yeah, the city so far looks like this. There is a ring road here that's not really a ring road, but we're going to disregard it for now. And uh, I also added a little bit of a central transportation hub. Um, the majority of the city has a tram line uh, on the ring right here. However, this part is not going to be covered by the tram. I just didn't think it was really necessary. Uh, I may need to have a lot of like single family homes or duplexes or something like that. Not a lot of high density right here. So didn't feel like it was necessary. But so far I have this kind of central hub for um, transportation in the city. Uh, there's going to be a central station right here. It kind of from above looks like the Amsterdam Central Station, but I was aiming for something more uh, one central station that they have in the, the, the Hague, um, which is kind of similar to this, has a cuter building in the front, but essentially the same thing. Uh, obviously, this is the central station in Amsterdam. It's really fucking big. And um, yeah, we're not going with this today. Um, but yeah, I kind of already built out everything that I really need. So today, what we're gonna do is uh, connect kind of the trains, uh, the train here. I'm gonna have to find a way to do this optimally, or in a way that does not look ridiculous, which is gonna be a real challenge. Um, I also already built out the bus station right here. So um, right here you have. A road that leads up to the the transportation hub i probably might just end up adding like a parking garage here or something like that um something that europe does i think in general is instead of having these huge parking lots right here like like in america where half of the city is just parking lots um European countries tend to like having layered parking lots a lot more, either underground or uh, beneath ground if they can. And so I'm probably going to add something like this right here in front of all this transportation system. Besides that, I have a little bit of a bus, a um, couple of bus stops here, just because. Um, I thought it would be cool for... Um, Europe is full of fucking rails, yeah. <laughs> Industrialization and all of that kind of caused that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I thought it would be cool to just have the bus stops right in front of the... Right in front of the central train station. And then you also have the central bus station. Um, yeah, and then you have the bus depot here. Which is just a very... Non-conspicuous building. I guess that's how you could say that. And uh, yeah, that's the city so far. This huge building here, I think that's the... Oh, that's, a, that's an office building in Berlin, apparently. Oh, that also works here. And then you have like a central place here with uh, a bunch of cargo things, because um, these are essentially like also central stations, places, service points. <laughs> For uh, pedestrian zones and city skylines, kind of doesn't emulate it too well. But um, if, for example, you have a pedestrian zone here, cars can't really enter this besides service cars, like police cars and all of that. Cars can't really enter this, so you need the uh, service points that go and collect everything. In city skylines, it's kind of just a building that you plop everything into and they magically, through tunnels on the ground, get to these places. Not very realistic, so I just kept it far away because I'm just gonna exploit the game a little bit. <laughs> and it's gonna be a lot easier if it's right at the exit and the entrance of the highway, because then cargo cars are not gonna have to go through the city and all of that. Um, besides that, I also made this little intersection. Um, or interchange, really where cars can go and go into the city and off to the highway again, uh, right next to the airport. So um, everything kind of goes, the, the roads all go below the highway and the tra train station, tra train rail. Yeah, the train rail. <laughs> and uh, yeah, 
it goes right into the airport which i already prepared i don't live in a city you know i didn't live in a city either when i was in germany yeah i didn't li really live in a city either. i don't know why i had to think about this <laughs> i lived in a really small village actually um but yeah living in a city is pretty nice <laughs> as it's upsides i guess uh but yeah i already built out the airport a little bit that was uh, something i did before the first stream even uh and i might work on it a little bit but for now i might want to work on connecting the rail um the rail station with my city that makes sense i'm not being very clear on what i want today uh but that's okay so let's just quickly move this aside and let's think about what would be best um i could be very lazy and just go this and then boom i have a connection and that was all i had to do and then i just connected on the other side however i want it to be pretty i don't want to to just be plopped on top of uh on top of the the city and then uh it just looks ugly as shit i have a couple of other options like um these balls but i don't know if that would really work too well what i mind that mind might holy shit i'm struggling to speak today <clears throat> what i might end up doing is um Splitting these connections a little bit. So, for example, here I push it a little bit forward, and then after this road, it's already connected. And then I leave this right here, and then have the other side of the rail station just maybe move here to the side so it doesn't disrupt with the city too much. And then you have an area here that you can build on and uh it's not really too much space that is occupied and huh i don't know if that's actually a good idea well let's let's give it a shot so essentially what i'm trying to do here is minimize the amount of space that the rail will will have to take um in rail cities they kind of were just plopped there so people didn't really have the convenience of just going okay i don't want the rail to be inconvenient for me <laughs> But uh, since I'm building this from scratch, might as well. Um, I think if we do it like this, a lot less space occupied. And uh, one thing that I do want to keep in mind with this is the trains have to go both ways so for example if i connect the train rail or like the the rail railways i guess it's what it's called if i connect the railways like this a train can't just go this way again like it's kind of forced to go this way and um obviously we want trains that come here and go this way or come here and then go back this way and so if you have the lines like this, um, a train can come to the rail station and then go to whatever direction it needs to without any hassle, which is kind of the goal of this. Um, I don't find it perfect, but I feel like I'm going to be forced to just accept kind of how it is right now. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm going to keep this aside for now. Um let's start building the airport i guess i'm kind of all over the place i didn't think too much about this and i was like yeah i'm gonna come up with some genius idea to build the the rail on or the how we were how we were gonna build the railroad but uh didn't happen so that happens sometimes but uh let's put out the airport a little bit so I already built the layout um I kind of wanted it to look like the Eindhoven airport, but I also wanted it to be a little bit more optimal. So from memory, the Eindhoven airport, it doesn't have um, taxiways. 
that uh, are kind of angled like this where planes don't have too much put too much of an effort to just exit the the runway because obviously planes don't really turn well <laughs> um and if a plane only has to turn say 45 degrees it's a lot easier for it to get out of the runway than if it has to turn 90 degrees it's obviously not really a problem um if it has to turn 90 degrees then it just turns 90 degrees but if a plane is kind of fast then it's a better idea to just let it keep a little bit of speed coming in um besides that also just taking off it's also nice if you can have a rolling start like this a lot easier to do it like this than it is if it's like directly 90 degrees but it is what it is uh i'm sure there's more reasons to it but uh those are the reasons i can think off the top of my head um something else that i also like to do with this city is to name everything after something from the netherlands obviously uh so we have the jewish district and the inner city um and i want to name this airport after the queen um queen Wilhelmina, which uh was the queen that oh, oh, i wanted was the queen of the netherlands during world war one and uh world war two and uh is a very beloved figure <laughs> there's a lot of fucking things that got named after this woman so um might as well just name an airport after her that's not what i wanted uh there's a couple of airports named after dutch um royal family members uh throughout the world um i remember actually i don't remember but uh, i remember seeing recently an airport where someone landed um the former dutch colony that was named after a princess so um yeah i actually wanted to say more about that but i kind of forgot her name so i can't do that anyway what was i thinking about for this airport so i think a very logical thing is is to uh separate the cargo area which i want to put here and the passenger terminal which i kind of want to put here like an l if that makes sense um and so we're gonna need first of all uh maybe a roundabout here would be nice to uh separate or to to help keep the flow of traffic high also allowing for a heavy flow or a heavily uh, driven on intersection because this road right here is going to serve as uh, passengers and it's also going to serve as the, all the cargo trucks which is going to be a shit ton of them and they take up a lot of space in traffic which is kind of annoying but you have to accommodate everyone so that's what we're going to do I'm gonna start off by building a modest roundabout. Probably want it to be a little for it to be a little bit bigger. Um I don't know if I want it this big. Perhaps this big. Alright, that works for me. Um I like it to keep a little bit bigger because then it just allows more cars to go through it. And uh it's gonna be a big goal for it. If it's a small roundabout, I mean it's obviously a lot faster for cars to get out of it but uh if someone gets stuck here for whatever reason there's a lot less space for cars to move and then eventually you just have a gridlock and uh you don't want that that's no good for your cars anyway let's select the road that we need usually i like to go with these roads right here two lanes and uh two bicycle lanes on each side usually they're really good <laughs> uh they're really convenient as well um people don't really have to keep switching sides on the road unless they really need to so uh obviously in a road that is gonna be this used a lot uh i'm gonna want to have the two bike bicycle paths right here uh, not really something you would see in real life i would assume but um at least here in the airport area you'd have bike paths a little bit more separated but um, 
it is a game <laughs> i can do whatever the fuck i want to i'm gonna do that um so let's also already kind of just build out the road to the cargo terminal um not gonna be something i built today i think but let's just build the passenger terminal for now um i also want to have a little repair area here where uh yeah i'm gonna have a couple of planes just parked and all of that um maybe even a private terminal here at the bottom but that's something that we decide as we go so a really convenient terminal for this would be the kind of semi-modern terminal uh i guess it's called modern but i think this is called ultra modern yeah so just I feel like the modern terminal is going to be pretty convenient for this. Um, we could also use the classic terminal. And it has a turn here. Um, but I think it's going to be really difficult to just incorporate into the city. We could do it. I just don't know if it, I just don't know if it's the best idea. <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so let's just go with the modern terminal. We will need a little bit of space for all the for all the stands, aircraft stands, but I think this should be more than enough. It's more than enough, that's perfect. Hey uh look Luxus <laughs> You know I'm just gonna say Luca because it's a lot more uh, it's a lot easier to say. Um, so a real pain in the ass. I don't know if anyone here flies a lot, but a real pain in the ass is the amount of walking you have to do. Um, now, I don't mind it. <laughs> I'm relatively young. And by that, I mean I'm incredibly young still. So I can walk. It's not really a problem. However, for older people, it's really inconvenient. Still not my name. Um, well, if, if you prefer me to call you something else, then uh, I can obviously do that. <laughs> However, for older people, it's really inconvenient for them to have to walk across all the airport. So I could be pretty lazy and just build it out like this and call it a day. Because might as well. Um, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, we're going to think a little bit more about this. So I do want to make sure that this is straight. There we go. Um, so it's typical that airports is going to offer a relatively cheap uh, way to keep airports or planes. That's what I wanted uh, to keep planes accessible to the public. Um, if you go to Amsterdam, for example, they have a very big part with uh, gates and B terminal or um, in the B section of terminal one, <laughs> the B gates. Uh, those are gates where you have to take a, um, where you have to take a bus to get there or there are terminals that are, they don't have this huge thing that are called, uh, I forgot. But essentially, they don't have these things. Um, you get out of the plane with the stairs and then you just walk in. Uh, those are really good to have, um, but it also has some that you have to take a bus for. And obviously, this is a relatively small... Um, city with a relatively i guess big airport but it's also not the biggest airport it's more of a regional airport and uh, some uh, international capacity and so also i think is this is the low b track i wanted the upbeat one i just realized i've been playing the wrong track for now i'm really dumb I wanted this to, this to be upbeat, not for you to sleep. <laughs> but uh, I wanted to have some international uh, stands, but for the most part, regional and local flights. So I want to simulate you having to take a bus to get there because sucks to suck, you're gonna fly Spirit or Ryanair. Um, 
or German Airways. Because I had to do that with the German Airways flight that I took. Um, so maybe I add a couple of stands here. Um, I could also somehow incorporate the concourse here. And then just have a couple of places here, a couple of stands, and then a couple of stands that you have to take a bus to get there. Uh, which is something that you can actually do, I think. Just to theory out. I think you can place... Oh, you can't. You used to be able to. That's very unfortunate. <laughs> I know that you can do it with cargo stands. Well, anyway. That is irrelevant, irrelevant for now. But uh, I, would, I do want to integrate that into the airport. Uh, also, a little bit of international um, capacity. So maybe an, I add two terminals for this airport. So I add this big terminal, which is supposed to be the terminal for international flights. It's very fancy. And then a smaller classic airport. Just for, you know, flights that usually take uh, in these smaller airports um, let's extend it a little bit <clears throat> might not even make it this big sorry I need to really cough holy shit okay uh, I think this size is roughly good and then just have a classic terminal here it's still relatively big but uh, not the biggest you can offer kind of doesn't look good Let's see if we can get a smoother transition between one and the other hmm. maybe this is good enough you could always just have a concourse here in the middle or something I don't think that would look good, actually. Maybe some situation where they meet in the middle. Hmm. Well, this is a real pickle. Um, let's think about it later. Let's for now just finish the rough layout for the airport. So this is kind of the rough layout for it. Um, I might also just add a small little terminal here for private flights. Um, ideally, I actually want to put it a little bit south here, but we'll see. But for now, looking kind of good. Um, you have the international flights, the medium flights, and all the regional airliners, small planes. Let's already prepare the cargo stand as well for cargo flights or cargo. Yeah, I guess cargo flights would be the name for it. Uh, do this. Probably wanted to keep kind of straight. Also, something that I learned is that apparently. Oh, actually, I don't know this. <laughs> I was about to say that apparently this side is supposed to face the, the planes, but that doesn't make much sense, actually. I yeah, know, it makes perfect sense. Does it? Well, anyway, how a lot of people like to put their cargo stands is inverted. But I find it really fucking inconvenient. Because you have this large T here in the middle. Obviously, you can remove it, but I don't want to do that. And it's always really annoying to put cargo stands right next to it. So how I think this was actually meant for is for you to place this on the side that the planes come. Not something I see a lot, but yeah, let's try it out like this. So you have the passenger terminal here. And then you have the cargo terminal here. So cargo planes are going to come down here and then here. And then uh, unload their cargo and passenger planes are just gonna maybe exit this runway or uh, exit here in the runway and then just get into the cargo into the passenger stands already uh, I could shorten this for sure 
Let's do that. The reason why I wouldn't want to shorten this is because I don't want to add extra um, miles that the plane has to take to get out of here. That would just add extra confusion for no reason. So this way it keeps it the shortest way possible into the runway. Which is good. Um, yeah, but I'm kind of worried about like cargo planes just landing here and then I need to take a really long way around, but I think it's for the best that they do that. Oh, fuck cargo planes, I guess. No one really cares about them anyway. Let's just keep it like this. All right, let's expand this. And then let's select the industrial road for the airport. Extend it a little bit. I don't think I need to extend it. I like this, it works. Looks perfectly fine. Cool. Let me save real quick. Always very important. Uh, otherwise, you end up in a situation like with my last video. Uh, actually, fun story, I guess, from my last video. I tried to um, edit it and um, I was almost finished with it. And Premiere Pro just decided to delete it, which was really fucking sad. Got really upset about that. Because uh, I thought it was a good video. But ultimately, it was a good thing that uh, Premiere Pro just crashed and deleted everything. Because the video that I released, I feel like, is much better. It also has a lot less fluff, I guess. Um, which is pretty good. It kept retention a lot higher than it usually would have. Kind of just taught me that I just need to go to the point. Just get to the point as soon as possible. And um, don't just fluff out the video for no reason. Um, I guess it turns out that if you don't just add random things to the video that have nothing to do with it, just for the sake of, just for the sake of saying, oh, I uploaded a an minute video. Is a good idea. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Um, but yeah. I don't want the city to get deleted though, because I'm pretty happy with the progress so far. Uh, let's add some cargo stands. Now, yeah, the cargo stands are a little bit bigger, but that's no bother. I can just select all of this. And then push it a little bit further up. And that should allow me to just put the cargo stands down. Perfect. All right, perfect. Let's put some cargo stands down. I usually like to keep a space. Uh, if you look at this, it usually tells you where the apron is or it ends. I usually like to put it roughly where it ends and then it has a good amount of space in between. That also allows for a lot of cargo stands. I really don't want all the cargo stands here. That would be too many. Although, how the game works... Can I delete this? How the game works, you usually will just have this cargo stand filled the second it, like, planes can spawn in, so... Yeah, it's just kind of unfortunate, but... For... Looks purposes... I do want to have a little bit more detailing going on. So they're just placing one cargo stand and then going, yep, that's where all the planes are going to. <laughs> um, actually, I think these are a little bit closer to the terminal. Yep, it looks good to me. Let me extend this road down here. Perfect. That doesn't really look symmetrical. I'm gonna be really pedantic about this. That looks kind of better. That's perfect. 
I'm gonna do one small adjustment. And... I think this is good. I think this is where it was when it, before I moved them all. So... I should have trusted my gut. They look kind of wrong. But yeah, this looks right, I would say. Still not perfect, but let's not be... Let's not let the enemy... Perfect be the enemy of good. It is already good enough. Okay, it's saved. So there's one uh, prop or one industry here that I really like to plop down, uh, which is a vanilla asset with all the cargo right here. I really like this. So I'm going to plop a couple of these down. Because it looks like it's a little bit busier than it really is. <laughs> it also offers a little bit of uh, job opportunities, which is good to have. Just in case you really need them. But usually, if you really are that desperate to fill the positions or to give your citizens work, then uh, something else is wrong that you need to address. Okay. Uh, so let's put a road right here. Let me move this node. All right. Let's push it up. Yeah, I can tell this is not symmetric. But again, let's not let the good be the enemy. Perfect be the enemy of good, that's the saying. Uh, down here. I kind of want to have a road like this, but I feel like that doesn't work too well. Yeah, let's not have that. What I do want to have is some more industry around here. Maybe a couple of uh, KLM and DHL stands. Because I do have a couple of assets for that. Um, like this office and then DHL. I don't know if you really want them here. I could just have the regular like cargo hangers. Hmm. No, oh, actually, I don't think it looks too bad. The cargo kind of gets the containers kind of get cut perfectly. So only I really know that this is cut off, but. That's a secret me and you can, uh, can keep on the hush. On the hush? <laughs> oh, that's what I'm saying. But yeah, we can keep it on the low and not tell anyone. I uh, have another KLM stand here. Perhaps have two. Right next to each other. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. As long as you don't stare at the roof too long. It looks fine. Alright. Well, that's kind of the cargo area done. It is asymmetrical. It is ugly. It's not really sexy, but... I'm happy with it. Let's just roll with it, I guess. Um, I want to add a little bit of asphalt here. Alright. That's fine. Okay, now let's connect the uh, industrial road, the airport industrial road, together with um, regular road here. So the advantage of this is that this is actually three lanes. Um, kind of a weird road <laughs> to connect with the rest, but essentially what this is, is uh, two lanes right here. And then you have one lane inwards, and then one lane here, and then two lanes inwards. So it is a pretty awkward road to connect with the rest. Um, what I can do is this, maybe? Um, 
I don't know if this makes too much sense. I really hate this road. <laughs> um, let me just see where the lanes are. So there's two lanes on this side. And then... Yeah, I guess something like this, some some split like this could work. Um, and then I could just have this go somewhere else. Aye, aye, aye. You know what? I'm just gonna pretend like this is a really perfectly good road. And uh, I'm just gonna already use a normal road here. Maybe also an industrial road. Just to keep the theme going. Sure. Why not? And then let's perfect this. This does not look ideal, but at the same time, it, it's just a really shitty road. <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> uh, let's do something that uh, you're not really supposed to do, which is change this road, and let's already give it the normal airport road. So essentially, what this is is a multi-tool, where uh, what well, it's called the multi. Uh, network multi-tool because you can do a couple of different things and this unlocks a segment so normally a building has a set of roads that it will always have when you plop it in so these buildings already came with the or these roads already came with the building and usually they're really important to how it works how the building works and if you remove them or change them it can sometimes mess up but I'm kind of willing to take the, in quotation marks, risk here. Just because. Um, what I'm gonna do instead is uh, change that and then lock it in again. And let's hope it, it stays good, doesn't break. And we're gonna have two one-way roads coming in here. Obviously, we need to adjust this a little bit so it doesn't look too bad. But, uh, yeah, I do want to have this split in the middle already somewhere. Okay. So the reason we're going to have uh, one-way roads here, instead of just a normal road like this one, is because this has a huge split in the middle. And I just realized this road exists. This has three lanes, right? No, it only has two. Oh, okay, let's just use this road then. It already has a split for us. Don't complicate our lives too much. Alright, perfect. We just push this out. Connect this somehow. Doesn't really matter how. Then we use the good old multi multi to to make sure that this is a good curve all right that, that makes sense i'm happy with this cool cool um all right so we kind of have our cargo terminal we still will detail it at some point or might, i might do it off stream uh but this is a good solid foundation to work off of um yeah, the road is probably going to be different <laughs> once I'm actually done detailing, but this is okay. It's functional. That's all I need. So one last thing I do need to do is connect the cargo stands with the airport in general. And we do that by connecting the taxiways to the stands. Um, oh, I just realized. Oh, never mind. 
<laughs> I thought these are the roads that come with the acid, but they're not. They're the roads that I built, and I just take none of them here. Uh, never mind then. Disregard. Because I thought this was the road, and I just built it wrong. But... No, it's fine. Let's just change this to airport roads. And we're Gucci. Alright, back to the passenger terminals. So... Hmm, how do we do this good? I might just use the same type of um, airport, which I do like the classical look. So I might remove this perfect terminal and just allow it to be a little bit unperfect. If that makes sense. Like just to have it be bent a little bit here in the corner. like this okay I do want that part to be straight as many straight parts as I can is usually it should be my goal here you know what you know what I think this looks better doesn't look perfect but it doesn't have to and uh, maybe I can even do this. This allows for more space for planes to uh, the taxi in. More space for stands as well. Yeah, I think I can make this work. Yeah, I'm happy with this. All right, let's extend it a little bit further down. And then maybe have the like passenger, private passenger area right here instead of the of in the bottom. Just um, end this terminal a little bit shorter, like right here. And then have a modern airport terminal right like this and then this is gonna be our little private or jet area uh this might be a little bit too big <laughs> let's not make it too big uh, let's also not make it too fancy. I do know I have a couple of assets for planes here. Uh, for small, like, private terminals. So I might just make use of those. Might be on this section. Looks kind of nice. Weird. Uh, regardless, let's find the rider. Yeah, they're called rider terminals. We just have a little small terminal here. Rotate this. All right, can I put stands on this? That's a big question. I kind of don't have to, I just want it to be like cosmetic there, but if I can make it work... Okay, never mind, I can't. But I'm just gonna build around it. I think a little cosmetic area for like small private planes is gonna be fine. Um, yeah, I'm happy with this. I'm obviously gonna rethink a little bit about the 
private or the, the not partial private commercial uh, jet area but overall I think this is good um, I'm gonna put a couple of repair stands here in the middle and just make sure that it looks like a, an actual like a live airport I guess it is supposed to be an airport for a somewhat smaller area it's not gonna be it's not really supposed to have as many flights as Amsterdam does um, as that's the international airport really but you do have a couple of airports like Eindhoven or um, uh, I think Rotterdam no I don't think Rotterdam has an airport let me google this real quick Eindhoven and then you have the Rotterdam the Hague airport oh you do have it okay so you have another smaller regional airport but yeah, these airports are like supposed to be really small <laughs> and not take much many passengers. So I need to think about how I also want to distribute the stands here. Um, obviously in game, they're going to fly in as many fucking planes as they can. And they're always going to fly it into this stand, which is really fucking annoying. But what can you do? Um, okay. Well, since we already finished the layout here on the airport, let's think back about this city. Um, I wanted to have the rail rail lines redot. Is this is okay? I can survive survive with this, but um, I don't know if I want this. It doesn't look like the best alternative, to be honest, or the best option, to be honest. Um. Uh, like, okay, the, the struggle I have right now with this is that it effectively, it effectively cuts off this area. So I can only really build on this small part here, and I don't like that. I would have preferred to just, you know, have the rail station maybe here. First about efficiency, not safety. Well, I guess that makes sense, yeah. Yeah, efficiency is important, but maybe, maybe I just want to um, have the all of this on this side. And that solves all my problems, like literally all of them. Um, actually, it would fuck with the trams. God damn it. Because the trams are in a good place here, I like where it is. Um, I don't want the trams messing with the arterial right here, especially on the road that goes into the highway and leads uh, also into the city. But I might not really have many options. <laughs> it's a little bit awkward because I want to have everything centralized. But maybe I also can't just have that. Maybe I have to compromise a little bit. Um. Oh, that's a real pickle. Oh, actually, I just thought about something. Okay, okay, okay. Hear me out. What if I just delete all of this? Let's. Delete all of this. Let's move these two train stations a little bit further up. Oh, the lag. Okay. Nice. I already have the train tracks kind of curved here, like angled, which is perfect because I can't just build it like this. If that makes sense. Obviously, <laughs> let's iron this out a little bit. It's not going to be this uh, non-curved because trains can't really go straight and then just suddenly change directions again. That's not really something trains can do. But uh, let's for now just do this. That's perfect on this side. I don't mind it at all. Um, trains can I guess go like this? Ah, oh, whatever. Let's just keep it like that. 
it, it just has to work for now. And then let's put the real connection down here. Now, earrings also come from this direction. Uh, and they only really meet a little bit further up. We could, however, already force them to meet a little bit earlier. Because this is a game and they have to do exactly what I tell it to do. So let's just put it like this. Yeah, that's perfect. Obviously, we'll figure it out with uh, the heights and all of that. But for now, I think that's good. Uh, the train comes in here and then it exits again. Uh, let's... Okay, whatever. Let's just keep it like that now. Okay, so this is perfect. I don't mind this at all. I'm happy with this. It's not ideal, but it doesn't have to be ideal, does it? Um, now for the other side. I have a lot of space here. So I might just want to replicate it. Let's just replicate it. Fuck it. Okay, so it doesn't really work <laughs> that well. As you can see here, the, rain, uh, the, the railroads are not connected well enough. Because um, otherwise you would see this. But right now you just see an abrupt cutoff. So I need to play around with it a little bit. But that shouldn't be... Okay, that's going to be an actual problem. Fuck. Uh, let's rethink this. So obviously this is really not an issue. I can just curve it like this and then I have it connect perfectly. But the other connections... Uh, maybe if they come in at an angle. Okay, that also doesn't work. Okay. Alright, that works. So now trains can actually take this route before they could because uh, the rail lines were not were not accessible. I don't know if I'm making it sound like it makes any sense. <laughs> I'm really focused on this. I have this really bad tendency of just like not making any sense when I'm really focused. Because uh, I'm not really good at multitasking. But I hope I got the general idea uh, across that like... When it looks like this, it's not really connected and trains can't go into here. Let's uh, pull it up. Perfect. Uh, this does not look good, but who cares? It works. And then I probably can just connect it straight here. No, I can't. <laughs> no, I cannot. Uh, that looks ugly. Ugly as shit. Um, many swear words in my Christian server. Okay, let me adjust this again. If I can make it good, like I don't mind perfect, but I don't know if I can make it good. Right, how about this? Let's connect it a little bit earlier, like that. Okay, that could work. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, so it looks kind of 
funky, I guess. <laughs> it looks incredibly funky. However, it doesn't restrict the terrain usage that much. And uh, after it already left the inner part of the city, I don't really care what happens to it. So we can extend it a little bit and make it look less funky. That looks, I guess, slightly better. It's just a really sharp turn for the trains. But um, I guess they just have to slow down a little bit. And then this as well. I should have them meet a little bit earlier. And then have this be shaped a little bit better as well. Oh. Okay. Uh, looks ridiculous. But I'm okay with that. <laughs> uh, cities in general have a lot of imperfections, and if this is gonna be like the meme train station in the country, then so be it. I just have it like that. Happy enough with it. Um, all right, so we kind of have our train station defined, I guess, or built. And uh, could actually do a little thing here just to keep consistency because this is already at an angle. And let's build this out at an angle as well. Right here. Uh, that looks terrible. Actually, no, never mind. Fuck it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's just have it how it was. It was perfect. Uh, I do hate that it has to save from time to time, but I also like that it has to save. Because otherwise I lose a shit ton of progress that I don't want to lose. There we go. Uh, I guess I could keep it like this. Though, to be honest, it looks really fucking goofy, and I could just build something real quick here. Like, literally just plop some trees down. That should be good enough. I like these trees. Let's just... Oh, big of an area. Plop them down here. Perfect. All right. Um, well, uh, objective number one of today has been completed, which is actually connecting the rail or the train station with the railroads that we have around the city, which is a good start. After an hour of streaming or so, you too. Um, but it is a start nonetheless. <laughs> Where do we go from here? Um, I think we could let the simulation play out for now. We're gonna see a lot of people coming in by train already. Uh, I don't think trains are meant to be this small, but... Alright. Fine by me. Uh, but yeah, we should be able to see some trains, trains coming in relatively soon. Uh, with people and uh, they're also going to be taking these buses or intercity buses are going to come in that's also going to be something that's going to be cool so there's going to be a little bit of activity trams are already going which is pretty good I already let them start a while ago uh, let me actually increase the amount of trams that are going to be going around the city by a little bit more uh, by the way this is the tram um the tram network for the city so it exits the depot always comes back to the depot and then it 
goes around here in the ring and then it comes in to this little commercial area and then it leaves again and does the whole uh go around again i mainly want the city to be um, used with buses integrating trams in the city is going to be a little bit more difficult because the inner part of it where the majority of people in commerce are going to be um this part is not really going to be accessible for trams unfortunately uh so it's really just going to be the part around it that is going to be accessible for trams um so i want the city to be mostly powered by train maybe by metro as well uh, by, <laughs> by buses maybe metro as well um but yeah we need to have a really good bus network and to start really simple bus network let's have it maybe stop right here right here and let's have it go into town it's gonna be really simple for now stop a couple of times around and then go up Stop in a couple of places that people want to go to and then get the hell back to the train station i think that's gonna be fine uh but yeah our first bus network let's go <laughs> uh usually like having these buses let's try to give it some random color as well instead of the blue really ugly blue Give it like a green. Perfect. All right. Well, uh, excited to see how many people are gonna come in now. Not gonna be that many. There's only two thousand people in the city, but excited nonetheless. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at the area around the train station, I guess. Um, there's this little apartment block here. I really hate it. So let's remove it. Uh, well, the general idea of this area is that it's going to be kind of a mix between residential office areas and some places where people that live here or work here are able to just uh, shop. So you have this big office building, which is going to be kind of the central part of this area. Um, it is the building that will stick out when people come here and it's also going to be a huge amount of uh, source of um, employment in the area so this is going to be really the only big building the rest are going to be relatively smaller buildings uh they're going to be around here and also plazas and all of that so let's take a look at some assets that i downloaded recently because i don't remember <laughs> what they downloaded um you have this really nice office that i like might be a little bit too big for this area but that's fine what i might want for this area actually because it is between these two offices some residential areas is just a commercial a couple of small coffee shops or uh, places that you can get some food I think that would be nice. Uh, this area is relatively new, per se. Like, the train station is old, but everything is being built new. So, you're not going to have the same houses that you'd find in a canal. Uh, which are these abandoned houses or these really nice... Really nice canal houses that I love to look at. You're not gonna find these old, old things. You're mostly gonna find things that were built in the 1960s, 1980s, anything like that. So let's find some jobs that could fit that uh, description. Let me also just adjust the sun so it looks a little bit prettier when I build things. Because I like when things look pretty when I build them the main reason I'm building them. All right, perfect. Now I can actually see things. Yeah, I think 
this is kind of what I'm looking for. So let's stick with that. McDonald's would be fine, but the parking lot doesn't really fit in here considering it is a pedestrian zone. So disregard that for now. If I can turn this around and still use it, this could be a viable option. Looks kind of like trash though. Maybe if we turn it around again. No, this does not look good. Okay. Uh, Dutch Bros. Apparently it's a coffee place. Interestingly enough. I don't even know if they have it here. Uh, but they do have it in America. It's interesting, I guess. Um, Starbucks is... Like, Starbucks is something that I see everywhere. So I want to try and incorporate a Starbucks or two here. Uh, apparently this is supposed to be a Starbucks, but it has no sign. So that's good. But uh, when I was in Chicago, like the two things that I saw the most were Starbucks's and McDonald's's. Like you would, unironically, I was kind of just standing. Let's find a small intersection. Okay. So imagine you're standing here, right? And uh, this building right here is a Starbucks. And then right here is a Starbucks again. And it's like, what's the point of having a Starbucks here and here? It's like, are people that lazy that they cannot just cross the street? Holy shit. It's also downtown Chicago, which I guess there's a lot of lanes and a lot of traffic lights, which I... Oh my god, that was really annoying. But I feel like you can just cross the street to get to the one, like, Starbucks. <laughs> but what do I know? <laughs> terrible, terrible, terrible. But oh well. It's also not my country, so... I guess I can't shit on it too much. Um... This could potentially maybe fit what I'm somewhat looking for. I have this here for now. And a couple of shops right next to it. I don't think this would be too, too common around here. Why? Um, the real reason I think it's just because there's so much demand for it that um, if you have a Starbucks across the street and one already has a huge waiting line, you could just go to the next one instead of going to another coffee shop. Um, I think that's the real reason why there's so many Starbuckses uh, in one place, but I could be wrong, you know? But if I had to guess, it's that. Okay, well, the quality of the assets, you can really see there's a small difference. Maybe I could change it by just making it a little bit darker, but okay, that's not going to happen. I don't really like it, but at the same time, it is what it is. So I'm just going to keep this here. Let's add a path in between. Just to make sure there's a little bit of separation here. And also let's make the buildings historical. I don't want them to become something else and then everything looks ugly again. So let's just... Have them be historical and then just have a small path here to separate everything. Yeah, I think this is fine. Sometimes you will find it that, like, you just have random mishmashes of old and new stuff together. Happens, I guess. Kind of ugly. I don't like it, but it just happens. Um, so let's just have that. I also saw something uh, around the city center. Which I thought it was kind of interesting. It's just the same apartment built over and over and over again. But apparently, they also do that in the rural areas because I looked at the rural city and it's like the same fucking apartment built over and over again. So what we're going to do today 
is build the same fucking apartment over and over again. <laughs> because why wouldn't we? Um... All right, let's go. Had to change the playlist real quick. Uh, so there's these nice apartments here. But I'm looking for one really specific one that is this one. It just is built over and over and over again. It's just so ugly to look at, but apparently it's something that happens in real life. I probably will not keep it like this, but I just wanted to see how it would look like. However, it doesn't look that bad, actually. It looks what I would imagine it would look like. You know what? I'm happy with this. <laughs> Weirdly enough, I did not think I would be happy with this, but I'm happy with it. So, move this back a little bit. Sure, that works for me. I don't know why, but it works for me. Uh, let's just make sure that everything here is historical and let's build more shit kind of the boring part of this is just making sure that everything is historical which is just um, a way that you can avoid that buildings just transition into something else um, because buildings they have certain levels so, um, for example, this office is at level 2, so if it were to level up because it has a better surrounding or more accessibility or whatever it is that makes it go up, then it would turn into a different building. And I really don't want that, so I make everything historical to make sure that they don't just randomly turn into something else. Which uh, would be really annoying if they did. Okay. Uh, I do want to have some buildings here, like a school maybe. Uh, a school right next to the rail station or the railroad would be good. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, offices in this area or maybe just a park. Oh, actually a park would not be that bad of an idea. Just have another pedestrian road that just goes across here. And then on the other side you have a little park. Let's try that out. Let's build this pedestrian road here. Let's fill it with houses. Doesn't look great, but whatever. And... Just do it like this. Pop it here. It will never look perfect. And it's something that I really struggle with because I want everything to look perfect. But, um... Sometimes it just be like that. Sometimes you can't make something perfect. And uh, it is what it is. But I think it looks fine like this. Um, it is just a mess built area with the same house over and over again. I guess sometimes you would have, s you would have some variety. Uh, so maybe you can just like put something else here from time to time. Um, so you have this huge place here with three on a row and then I just place uh, maybe something bigger. Maybe not. Maybe something. Ooh, something like this. No, that also looks kind of ugly. Ah, the Shreffer perfection, huh? It's always really annoying. Everything always has to be perfect. Let's 
see if I can find something a little bit smaller that could fit in here. Like these, yeah. Like these. Ooh, a lot of pedestrians already. That's good. People moving in. Good to see. Just have some breakup in between, like, the same repetition of buildings. Just to make sure that not everything is samey. Ooh, I also really like this apartment. You know what? I might change. Let's let's delete everything here. So the annoying part is that this would actually not be too inaccurate. Uh, well, there's not a lot of sunshine here, but this would not be too inaccurate of just having the same house over and over again. But I think it's ugly, and it's my game. So let's change it up. Let's uh, not have the same house over and over again. Let's have some spice, which is some change. Some variety, as some might say, with a slightly less fake accent. Let's just have this really nice house that I like. I say house, this is a huge apartment complex. But whatever. Let's have this. I feel like it wouldn't be as fun as much fun if you don't indulge in things that you like from time to time. Especially when it comes to building, because ultimately, like, I already built a lot of cities and city skylines, and if I just go for samey, then I'm never really gonna stick to a city or think that the city looks great. So... I'm happy to have this building standing out here in the middle of the of the city with a lot of apartments um, for people to move into. Put some nice trees around. It's gonna smell really nice. Holy shit. Like, cherry blossoms just smell amazing. And the sun is in a weird position here. Let's move the sun around a little bit more. I think this is great. Yeah, this works great. Let's just have the sun right here. Um, okay. So, the situation right now is that we have the railroad. And apparently it's a shortcut. I don't want it to be a shortcut. Okay, so what happens sometimes... Let's... Before I go into this whole tension here. What happens sometimes is that um, they'll see that paths are faster. So, for example, right now I have a cargo train right here, which is a bad sign. Why? Because cargo trains are not supposed to go through this area right here, which has only like cargo or, or um, rail connections for uh, commercial, like for, for trains that carry people, not cargo. And uh, so this is bad because it's essentially just saying, okay, if I go this way, I'm going to be out of here faster. So one way to uh, kind of combat this in this game is by making this path slower. So only actual trains that need to go through here can go through here. Which eliminates a little bit of a hassle of um, having trains just stay or, or go through here that they don't have to. And then they just wait for a commercial or... Um, yeah, I guess commercial trains would be a good word for it. So let's just reduce the speed limit here. Um, that done. Uh, we have a really nice setup here besides this. This died out, but we can replace it. 
we have a really nice strong setup here so you have a couple of shops you have the offices you have a nice tall building in the middle and a nice tall office here on the side that's beautiful so we probably just want to build around this now and uh you obviously have the railroad here with a lot of trains coming in and you don't want people to okay you don't want people to hear all that noise um trees usually block noise if you really need the trees to block the noise for you if you need something to block noise for you trees are a really good option um so i was thinking about a park here however i might just add a couple of really nice tall thick trees around the railroad to block the sound and uh maybe have a low corner here just with trees and then the rest is apartments but could be a bad idea let's try it out let's just add a bunch of these trees alongside the railroad block all the sound yeah, i think the tram lines are clear of it that's okay Then have some extra trees right here, just to make sure that we block out all the sound that comes in. It's not going to be like 100% perfect. Um, what happens a lot of times is if you have, at least from what I know, uh, what happens a lot of times is that if you have something loud coming in, like a railroad being built or even an airport being built if like randomly just the city goes okay we're building an airport here a lot of the residents around that area don't really like that the airport is there or the railroad is there um usually it's less of a problem with railroad because railroad usually has a really practical um practical reason to exist for the people that live there but the airports are a little bit less justifiable so say there is a little neighborhood here and then they plop an airport there what will happen a lot of times is that uh, the airport that the company that is or the government that wants to build the airport there would just offer to isolate the buildings so that's one way to deal with it and then additionally i just like to have the trees here to uh make sure that we block a lot of the sound but yeah a lot of times they kind of have to come to an agreement with the people around um, for example, that's a problem right now in, uh, Lallistat, in, uh, in, uh, Flevoland. They want to open a new airport there, it's already completely fucking built, but people just don't want it there. And so they're having a lot of troubles just making sure that it opens. Um, so we don't want that here, we don't want anyone to interfere with our own businesses. So, let's just add the extra noise cover i guess <laughs> make sure that uh no one complains about this shit okay so um that's that you have a nice little cover here it does the trees do interfere a little bit with the railroad but i'm not going to be that pedantic um we can start building again so i want to build anything that is going to be residential under this like it, it has to be shorter or less tall yeah, I guess smaller than, than this apartment because I want this apartment to stand out for the residential area and this apartment to stand out for the uh, like office area. Like, I guess those are like the standout buildings of the area, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so let's start building. Um, a couple of nice assets we could choose here. It could just be boring and just plop all these buildings here, but I don't want to do that. City center has to look nice. Hmm. Take a look at our last lower density. Uh, options here. Don't really like this too much.
We also don't want the places here, the houses or the apartments here to be too old, like these. It would be good options for like smaller villages that we end up building in the future. Something like this maybe? Though it does have a garage. And uh, we don't really need garages here in the middle of a pedestrian zone. It doesn't have access to those and we also want something with a little bit of density. I kind of put myself in a pickle saying that I don't want anything taller than this but uh, I also want a lot of density, as much density as I can get. Um, I suppose these could be good but they also look kind of old. I said I want new, I want everything new. <laughs> I remember there was a really nice pack with some apartments here. Uh, there are these ones which are from around the 1800s or something, I believe. Which do look really nice. Um, I guess we could try building them out a little bit. They're a little bit older, but not old enough for me to actually care. Oh, they are from the 1800s, but they don't look that old. <laughs> what I'm trying to say. Mm, yeah, this could look nice here. Let's just go with a couple of these. Then also just the amount of residents that can live here, because one is really not enough. Let's put them at high density and let's have, uh, let's say three households living here. And that's fine enough. Perfectly happy with that. Um, spam the same building over and over again. That usually works. Okay. Let's cut this off now. Let's add a side to this so it actually oh it actually ends. A lot of assets just end like this and I don't like it. Obviously this is meant as a like row thing, but it just it has nothing on the sides. And sometimes it can be really annoying to fit them in somewhere that I need. So it's nice that they offer these like smaller houses on the side that they can just plop in and say, hey, that's uh, exactly what I wanted. This is where it ends. And so we can put a pedestrian path here. Just something small to make, make it look like it will transition to something new. And then we can maybe put a small shop here. Um, I have a couple of smaller shops I could plop in, like this small little coffee shop right here. It worked great. Have it here. And uh, some other smaller shops. I do have a Starbucks that looks really neat. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oop. I have this little small, uh, Starbucks right here that could fit well in an area that is just kind of open, has a couple of shops. Also Dutch Bros. A lot of coffee shops. Uh, this is actually not the Dutch Bro asset that I wanted, I wanted this. Perfect. Then rotate this, put this kind of in the center. Then keep this here in the corner. Need to make this make sense somehow. Um, I also want this asphalted. Because why not? And then I have some really nice curb assets that I can put in for like flowers and uh, trees and whatnot. Oh. Let's add a 
curb for us to put flowers in and whatnot. I think a curb right here would look nice. Then one right here as well. And then a smaller curb right here. Then let's put down some trees. Something that would look nice. I still want to put a uh, nice colorful tree here. Maybe a nice colorful, colorful, colorful. Holy shit, that's difficult. Uh, no, actually, I think I'm good here. And then just some regular trees. Perfect. And then benches. Small detail. Small detailing. And... Uh, then we should be good. Start with upbeat music. This is going to be boring as shit. So I need to make sure that uh, people don't fall asleep. So that was me uh, tapping to the other screen. In case you wonder why like my screen also goes to this side. Ah, oh, fuck. This is what happens if you don't uh, put historical buildings on. It just turns into something completely different. In this case, it went from a Dutch Bros to a furniture shop. That's why it wouldn't you? Let's see... Okay, so let's go to benches. Benches... Let's put some around here. Just so people can hang out. Perfect. Well, there's not much shade here on this side, but... I guess they do have space for you to come in, maybe? Not really. Oh well, not really my problem. They didn't pay extra to have the, the curbs there, so fuck them. <laughs> uh, I guess I could just copy paste this on the other side as well. I don't think that would be a war crime. Maybe it will be. I don't know. Uh, this is fine. Then I could maybe have a little path with trees coming down here in the middle. I think that would, I think that would fit nicely. looks okay I think at least starting to look nice now I could just copy paste exactly the same as I did on this side to this side however this is a really high traffic area like what wise it's a lot of pedestrians that are gonna gonna be coming through here two reasons why um, one reason is because a lot of people are going to be working here. So you have one office here, you have a couple of offices here, and you have one big office here. Um, there's already a couple of coffee shops here, which should cover people for like small coffee breaks or anything like that. But it does not cover for bigger meals. So if anyone actually wants to have lunch somewhere, uh, a coffee shop might not satisfy it enough. Now, you do have a couple of stores here. Uh, however, it, it's not enough. It's not enough for all of these people that are going to be working here. Uh, there's also some people that are going to be living here. So coffee shops and small shops are not going to be enough for them. Uh, second reason why is because there's literally a train station right here and a bus terminal and a trams end here. So there's going to be a lot of people that end up here for one reason or another. Um... So this is going to be a really good area for shops to set up places for them to be able to sell as much as they can. Because it's going to be a lot of people that are going to walk through here. So we do want some higher density commercial areas. Um, and we do have a couple of nice assets. 
of stores that actually exist in real life that we might want to take advantage of uh so this is not really well lit so essentially this is a store then you have a couple of stores like this like this uh google boss tommy hillfinger they even have like cool little animations so we all want shops like that you know just shops that really call people in and uh, there was another one i think I don't remember exactly which one but one had a really big display with uh, animations that i thought was really fucking cool oh well it doesn't matter now but um yeah we want big stores here not tall stores but big stores big names big brands so let's rotate the sun around a little bit so we can see better what we're placing down Let's just place down something, I guess, so we have a rough idea of where the sun should be. Alright, that's fine. So, we want a store that will be in a corner here. Now, Gap has a perfect one, but it's way too fucking tall. You're never really gonna see buildings this tall. I mean, you might, but uh, usually never gonna be this tall. And you also don't want them to be this tall. I guess you want it to be as tall as you can, but... Yeah, I think this is a nice corner shop. Maybe there's something better, but right now... Oh, actually, Hermes. There we go. That's a nice corner shop. And then... Want another one? Oh, a theater could actually fit here. No, it doesn't. Okay, never mind. I have this right here. Hmm. Let's make this historical for now so it doesn't change. But let's pin a, put a pin on this. Let me move this closer together. Okay, so you're coming out and then you see all these stores. Yeah, I think this is fine. Then let's have a whole like corridor here just with shops. Trendy, trendy little places that people can go to. Lego store. Nice. Ooh, Louis Vuitton also has a really nice corner store here that we could try and integrate somehow. Oh, look. Ugly as shit, but that's okay. It's not perfect, but it actually looks really ugly. <laughs> it looks really fucking ugly, but that's okay. Make sure that all of these buildings are historical before we do anything. And let's keep keep building. I guess in this case, let's keep adjusting. I don't really see the appeal actually in having offices like, or like places to meet right on top of buildings like this, because it's like, I mean, obviously I understand this, it's a spa and all, or like, uh, pool and all of that and it must be sick as fuck being in a pool on top of a building but like meeting places on top of buildings that are just open i don't know i don't see that appeal i guess okay 
Okay. Well, this side is gonna be ugly as shit if we keep the trees here, so... Let's remove them and let's rethink about the trees here for noise cancellation. We already have the trees. This is actually gonna be a real problem for the tracks if we keep it here. Let's keep it... Let's rethink this area, right? We do want to have this part right here reserved just for for trees and air and things like that just to block out the railroad sounds uh, but we also want it to be aesthetically pleasing for all of these shops here because otherwise it's just like one side is a jungle and the other side is like all these really fancy stores right and you don't really want that you want everything to be fancy and nice so they pay as much money as possible in taxes to stay there <laughs> Um, we could add a little small park, something a little bit better organized that still has enough trees. I think that would be a fair shout. Oh, actually, we just quickly plopped this in already. I think this is a nice cinema. Oh, this is a parking lot. Never mind. Let's not plop this in. Let's just keep it there. But let's look for parks. Just something small with trees. This could be nice. With some thicker trees right here, maybe. Then some really pretty trees right here. I guess it could work. Doesn't really look that nice, however. Um, have some young lindens here. Yeah, I think that looks fine. Something else that could block building uh, sound really well is uh, is actual buildings in, buildings instead of stairs. But uh, instead of stairs, instead of trees. But um, I do like the tree idea, so I'm gonna just stick with it. And um, and some more trees here. All right, really pretty, beautiful. Um, let's build out this area right here as well. Uh, we probably want some small or light commercial areas. Something with uh, fast food places or anything like that. That are also really compact because we don't have a lot of space to play with around here. So something like this, move it a little bit closer, so it fits in. There's going to be a lot of collision here, but I'm willing to deal with that. The sacrifice I'm willing to make. Street sushi could be good. Yeah, this fits nicely here. Perfect. Have a KFC as well. Mm, I have a really nice Burger King actually that I want to use. be really good somewhere like here maybe if we remove the parking lots it could be pretty decent okay, let's remove the parking lots mm, parking spaces 
Sable. Sable the rest. Let's add some asphalt. Let's add some curbs. I think one curb here in the middle is more than enough. And then let's hope we can actually add trees to this. We can. Wonderful. Then maybe something smaller. Perfect. So you have this really nice curvature here. I really like this. Where it just like goes around here in the building. And then you have this little entrance here. The KFC here as well and a Burger King. Yeah, it looks great. Perfect. And then a series of smaller shops here, or maybe I just add a small park to it, because why not? It just has to be something incredibly small to fit in here. Like some tables. I think I have some assets of a park with some tables in. That could fit really nicely here. Um, yeah, that's an old wall. Probably don't want that. fits in well hmm. I really just want something tiny Everything is too big. Give me something small. Ah, here we go. Okay, this doesn't look perfect, but I don't want perfect to be the enemy of good. So I'm just gonna keep it like this here. Maybe add some gravel as well. Beautiful. Side as well. Perfect. All right, this looks. Well, besides the trees here, they kind of look ugly, but <laughs> it's just a rendering thing. Um, everything here looks great so far. I am actually loving it. Holy shit! I could make this square, I guess. I didn't want to do it because of the tram, but I feel like it might not be worth it to not just keep it straight. Uh, I might have broken the trams. <laughs> because I uh, continued without having a tram line connected here okay that's fine all right well now we just have to fill this area out and i'm thinking that this area could benefit from maybe a school um or maybe just more residential and then perhaps have a school like Actually, a school right here would not be too bad. So this small rest, like commercial area, because we don't really need it. I have a school here. If we have a better asset for this. Mm, 
this would have been perfect, but it's too big. Yeah, all of these are universities already, I don't want universities. Okay, well, that acid was the best one that we had. This one, let's have an elementary school right here. That should be fine. Let's go to the ground here and let's take a look. Alright, this looks... I would say... This looks great. Like, it's a little bit odd, but that's just because it's a game. <laughs> Not really high graphics and anything like that, but... Looks great to me. And I'm happy with that, so... Let's just keep the school there. It also adds some functionality to it. It's also right in front of a tram stop. Really only comes with benefits of having the school there. Uh, we could have the high school right here on the corner. Fits perfectly. It's really nice. Yeah. And then let's isolate this by adding a half here. Maybe add a couple of parks here and then we add just full residential zoning here. Go crazy with it. So let's see how it would look like if I just copy this. I don't actually hate this too much. I mean, obviously it's a little bit dark, but it's just the sun being weird. But I don't hate it. I really don't. So let's just spam this out a little bit. Like, it's just what it is. You're never, never going to have anything perfect and having mass-produced houses just happens sometimes. Especially here where everything is planned to the to the smallest detail. And uh, a lot stricter to uh, build anything at all. All the building codes. But it also allows for freedom. It's not like America. Bless you. It's not like America that... Um, restricts the type of uh, building you build in a certain area. Obviously, you can't build a trash depot in the middle of downtown, but you can build a small commercial building somewhere. This has to follow code. It's a lot more complicated when it comes to like rural areas. And uh, places that are farms or places that are just in quotation marks nature. Or I guess nature with all the quotation marks. A lot more complicated to build there, but um, yeah. It is what it is. Maybe it shouldn't be that complicated to build there. But what do I know? Okay, let's add some smaller trees here. A couple of those, maybe. Okay, I quite like this. Even though the rails look really dumb, and I admit they look really dumb, and I might just do something about them at some point in time. Right now, they are perfect just as they're supposed to be so i'm happy with that and the airport does not look bad either these two a couple of things need to be ironed out first but the general idea of it is already great pretty good that's our train depot I really like the train depot. Though there's a little bit of a deadlock right now. Ay ay ay. That's not too good. 
you know, maybe having a train stop or a tram stop right inside of this building might not be the best idea. How about we just have it right here? Alright, now there's not a deadlock anymore. Yeah, like, everything else looks pretty great so far. I obviously need a little bit of electricity. I guess I could dedicate this area to, like, some buildings that could provide some electricity. A small solar panel arc. panel park as well which is good really good in fact a lot of electricity being generated out of that i do want to make sure that all of this is straight so do this this I think that should be everything lined up perfectly. Alright, cool. Maybe not have this first layer right here, because I feel like people are gonna be gonna be too close to the sidewalk. But um let's put a fence around here. Like an oil industry fence, I think that, that could be fine. There has to be a fence around the tram tracks anyway, so pretty convenient. I think that should keep most people out. Yeah, whatever. Happy with this. And then let's have a low entrance here. Right here. Okay, cool. So now we have a really good power source as well i didn't even think about adding it but now that i did pretty pleased with it probably not really realistic probably want to just have it in an open field but uh fuck it <laughs> it's my city um yeah okay let's go back to here i'm zoning all over the place but uh let's come back here What could we do extra? I mean, obviously this part here is already done. Maybe I could add the part that I was talking about behind the school. Uh, oh, not what I wanted. It is obviously not gonna be something that I want. I think the parts that I really like are more to the front of this page. Like these ones. 
enemies, but none of them seem to be good fit. That seems fine. Add some gravel as well. Just to finish this up. All right. Maybe just add a park menu, I guess. <laughs> um, high schoolers. High schoolers just need places to sit, and that's it. They they can just figure out their shit themselves but uh let's add a first of all let's add a lot of asphalt here this is where they're gonna be sitting around doing nothing being useless as high schoolers are this slow part here perfect and let's add some curbs as I love to do trees can sometimes be really fucking tricky holy shit uh i think i'm happy with these and some more benches with this and that's pretty much this zone done I guess we can still add things around it but the inner side of it is done and that's pretty neat <laughs> um, didn't actually expect to get done today so that is a really nice surprise so I might say Okay, so why are just places going out of business? Not enough workers. Okay. So, essentially it's just not enough workers or workers are not qualified enough. I just noticed I have... Oh, wow. How is the price of the houses here so cheap like what it has a lot of parks and like a lot of public transportation shit um and like a police station all of that ow uh well let's add some unique buildings around i guess oh this could have been perfect oh well whatever um, some unique buildings to just add some value to the land could be good a rail museum hmm it'd be nice I guess hmm let's see what else what else could I build here I want something small that I can fit in here. Can I club, I guess? Does that increase the value of the land? Not really. Hmm. 
Oh well. Uh, for now, let's figure out a place to. Oh, actually, yeah, I, I do have the DOC that lets you build some really nice universities. That's probably what I'm gonna do next. Just place it down somewhere. Uh, where would the university fit nicely? So, university universities here don't really have campuses. Uh, some do. A lot of them don't. They're just buildings scattered around the city. Um, so I could just decide between not having a campus or having a campus. Which would involve just me having... Using the DOC or not using the DOC. Because the DOC, with the DOC I could just build a really nice large campus and just be happy with it. However... I could also just plop these random buildings that are universities and call it a day like have a university building right here and actually that's something I could just do <laughs> why wouldn't I just do that save so much space Perfect, actually. Okay, that's the university in the city. I guess I solved that really easily. Holy shit. Okay, nice. Well, that was all the planning I needed. Sometimes it just works that fast. Okay, that so should solve the issue with workers not really being uh, educated enough. But I still don't have enough residents to occupy all of these areas with workers. So I have to spam out more residential areas somewhere. Uh, perhaps here. I could also just build my first suburb-ish right here. Um... But I will not do this today. We're re we, ha well, we have already been streaming for two hours. So um, I think I'm gonna call it a day for now. But we've made some really good progress. <laughs> like generally. We already built out the airport a lot better. We improved this area with the trams. Built the university. And uh, built out the area around the train station. Which is great I would say. Um, so, yeah, I guess I'll see you some other day, which is going to be, I want to say Friday, probably. I actually posted my schedule. Yeah, it's Friday. And uh, we're going to be playing Ready or Not, which is... A game that, believe it or not, a lot of people that watch my videos play. Don't know why there's a correlation there, but uh, there is. Um, yeah. So I appreciate everyone that came by. It was really nice. Um, we're gonna be playing Ready or Not again on Friday because I do need some footage for my new video that's gonna come out on. Sunday probably but I don't really want to give me too much pressure so maybe just next the, the week after but um, I'm hoping it comes this Sunday which is going to be related to ready or not and uh, considering there was an update recently you can probably guess what it's going to be on it's going to be on the update um, well anyway uh, yeah I appreciate you uh, Stephanie for watching the stream and uh, anyone else that might have, might have sticked around, stuck around. So, yeah. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Um, Bye, Stephanie.